Manchester United losing at home on the opening day. What was the biggest concern today for Eric Ten Hag? The biggest concern, well, let's give them a little bit of credit because I thought they were dynamic and energetic in the first 20, 25 minutes. They moved the ball forward uh, well enough. My question mark has always been, how do you play Christian Eriksen and Bruno Fernandes together, right? And in the manner in which somewhat enforced because Martial was injured and Ronaldo was on the bench, was Bruno Fernandes who was uh, playing the false nine and Eriksen uh, right next to him. Do you remember one chance they created? I mean, those are two very creative players, right? In the first half, they didn't. Uh, maybe by default when Ronaldo came in, right, uh, Christian Eriksen was dropped much deeper uh, and looked better, right? He was able to distribute some balls. And, you know, so that's an area where I was surprised because I thought that with Eriksen and, and Bruno Fernandes, they'll create some chances. First game, I get that but not a great sign. And they're even talking about Frankie de Jong, who, by the way, will fit in that deeper role. But it, you know, begs a question. Frankie de Jong, Bruno Fernandes, Eriksen, much alike to a degree where you could see for sure the issues were with Fred and McTominay. Where are the goals coming from for Manchester United if Ronaldo leaves? Big question mark. And, you know, Ronaldo's going to leave or not. I mean, part of me, you know, you, you almost want to ch say that things changed a little bit when he came on. And I was afraid that if he was going to score a goal, it's going to be once again Ronaldo. I don't necessarily know if that would have been great for Manchester United because he would have been the hero, which he would have loved, right? And still wanting to be away from Manchester United. Uh, all it tells me is that they need to do their work and homework in the transfer market still. Because you're quite right. Unless you think that out of nowhere, Martial is going to become this consistent goal scorer. You're going to think that Rashford is going to be much, much better under Eric Ten Hag, which didn't see it. I know it was better in the preseason. Jaden Sancho, very, very disappointing. And the center of the pitch, yeah, no Bisuma, but look at Kai Seto, single-handedly took care of uh, Fred and Mark Tamanay. Uh, so, wow, I, I didn't see this coming because to me, rightfully, you know, Brighton won it. And, and again, back four, not cohesive, Mark, right? Lisandro Martinez, not looking great. By the way, if you wonder, I thought it was a 100% penalty uh, on, on Danny Welbeck. You just made a comment there, Janis, and, and I want to follow up on that. You said you didn't see this coming. Should we have seen this coming? Because maybe Ten Hag is a giant piece of wallpaper that papers over the cracks. What has really changed, apart from a couple of new signings and maybe some new ideas, but on that performance, should we have seen that coming? Are we just, oh, it's Man United against Brighton, big team against not a big team? No. They didn't play like that. What I did not see is, you know, I knew that this is not going to be a great Manchester United overnight with Ten Hag, right? But what I did not see coming is that Brighton in the first match of the season at Old Trafford are going to comprehensively outplay Manchester United in the first half and then in the, sec in the second but, half. But Janusz, of Janusz, they beat them 4-0 the last time they played. Brighton but, 4, Manchester United 0, albeit at the Amex. So right. what, we should have seen this coming, shouldn't we? Well, yeah, no. I Like I said, I didn't see... Manchester United, for me, for years, has become just a name, right? This is not the Manchester United that their fans expect and deserve. That is for sure. We've talked about Ten Hag. I mean, why did I think he's different from, you know, Ralph Ragnick or, or Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, right? I just thought that his discipline, his ideas... Uh, you know, the, the thought of playing on the front foot was maybe going to bring some different. I saw preseason. That was promising. We understand it's just a preseason, but one that was promising. So, you know, when you play against Brighton, even though they lost to them, as you mentioned last season, it is home. It is Old Trafford. It is new. It is a chance to impress and stay in the game not to be comprehensively outplayed. I hope you understand the difference, right? Last season, you're, going to, you're sort of mailing it in. We all knew about Manchester United. Their season was over uh, for a long time. I just thought that at the very least, they're going to put up a fight. And, you know, barring, as I said, 15, 20 minutes in the second half, which almost every team, when they're losing 2-0 at home, is going to kind of, you know, give you something different and show a little bit of pride. But as we've seen, that wasn't enough. In the second half, United were a lot better. It seemed like there was more of a freestyle performance. It wasn't as kind of tactically rigid 
as a first half display that, that didn't work. They had options. They tried to get it wide. They tried to get into the box. I know it's difficult for Manchester United fans to try and see any positives from that. But from the second half display, is there anything that Eric Ten Hag can say, yeah, OK, right, that worked. I can use that going forward. Or is it a case of, right, where do we go from here? As I said, he needs to forget about McTominay and Fred, right? I mean, we've all talked about it, but as we said, people felt in preseason it was good enough. Uh, obviously, having Bruno Fernandes and Eriksen, one of those players needs to uh, drop deeper. You need that creativity to service the wide players. And we saw that from Eriksen a little bit. I, I, was, I was looking at him and two, on th two or three occasions, good diagonal longer balls, to, to find the white players a little bit earlier. So that's one thing that I'm sure it's going to change almost immediately, right? I you know He's probably going to say that Marshall is ready. That changes maybe the, the options that he has. Maybe Cristiano Ronaldo, which Ten Hag continues to say he believes in him. He may start as well. So we may see something different. You know, next week it's away for Brentford. You know, the same Brentford, same situation. They were 2-0 down away uh, uh, today to Leicester City. They found a way to draw, right? After that, it's a big matchup against Liverpool at home. So you remember when I started, big, you know, first impressions are more, are important. This was a very, very bad first impression. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.